Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Ed with U-Haul. If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Jeep Patriot, you're gonna need to get trailer wiring installed. It's the law. Today, we're gonna be installing a Takancha four flat power module. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. So, let's get right to it. We have four major connection points, one behind each tail light, one at the battery, and then your four flat being connected to uh, the rear bumper area here. And then we'll run some wires to the battery, of course. So we'll start with getting behind the taillights. All right, here at the driver's side, to remove the taillight, we're going to just take off our fasteners here. We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. These are a two-piece fastener. The center piece comes out away from the base. But once it reaches a certain point, it'll just pull right out and then the base fastener comes out just like that. Do the bottom one here. Okay, when we get those two fasteners pulled out, it should just pop right out. Okay, and these are the connectors that we're looking at right behind the tail light. Um, we'll go ahead and get behind this one here. We're gonna do the same thing at the passenger side, but before I do that, I wanna point out that um, the connector that goes to each side, the, the yellow wire and the brown wire are gonna go to the driver's side, and the green wire is gonna go to the passenger side. So let's, let's go ahead and get this uh, yellow wire connector pulled up into the tail light compartment. Um, to do that, I like to use a pole wire technique or fish wire technique. I'm just gonna take a piece of wire, I'm gonna drop it down behind the bumper, and it's gonna come down underneath the vehicle. Okay, just gonna reach under here, grab the wire. Now we're gonna take our driver's side connector that has the yellow and brown wire. We're gonna tape it to the pull wire. Okay, and now, I also want to take our ground wire and tape it to the dri uh, driver's side tail light connector as well because I want to make my ground behind the tail light. So we'll go ahead and pull that up with it as well. Okay, now we'll just take our pull wire. We'll start to pull. I'm gonna take all this slack and put it on the ground to help me guide it up. There's our connectors right there. Okay, and there's our ground wire. So we'll go ahead and take our pull wire off and just pull it straight out. Okay. These are our two connectors. We're gonna go right in between our top tail light connector here. To remove this, we're gonna pull back on the red clip to unclip it. We're gonna press the button and then just pull straight back and it'll come right out. Just like that. Now we'll get our mating connectors. Plug it in, here it clip, and then lock it in. Here it clip in and then just push the red button to lock it in. And that's it for the driver's side connectors. Now we'll go ahead and make our ground before we move over to the drive, our passenger side. Okay, we'll go ahead and just set the light over. We've got our ground wire pulled up on the driver's side here. Um, we did find a nice cavity right here that we can ground it to. So I'll go ahead and just place it there. Grab our tech screw here for, that was provided with the packaging. Screw it right in. Okay, we got our ground screw in. Now we can put our tail light back in. We're gonna take our two body plugs here, line them up, push them in. And then we'll have our fasteners on the inside of the door here. Sometimes the connectors will get caught up behind here. We're gonna make sure that they're pushed nice and neat in the back here. Just like that. 
just going to hit the tail light into the body plugs, put our fasteners back in. Put the base in, lock the center in. That's it for our driver's side. Let's go ahead and run our wire over to the passenger side. Now, they've given us enough wire to get over to the passenger side and up to the tail light. As we're routing it, um, we definitely want to stay away from this exhaust here. The exhaust is almost the length of the back of the bumper here. So we're going to have to find the bumper brackets up in this area here, all the way over to the passenger side. Uh, again, avoiding that hot exhaust. So. This bumper is flexible, so you can pull on it and get it out of your way here. We're gonna go up and over the receiver tube. Looks like we can go straight up here to avoid the tailpipe and this going straight up will go right up to the tail light. So we'll go ahead and leave this right here and we'll do our pull wire technique again once we get the tail light removed. Okay and just like the driver's side, we're going to take our flathead screwdriver, wedge it in between the base and the center portion of the fastener. That pulled out. And the base comes out. Okay, we should be able just to pull the light right out. We'll flip it around. Again, just like on the driver's side, we're going to be using the top connector. We're going to unlock it by pulling down on the red connector here. Press the button here to release it and slide it right out. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and pull up our wire and get, get it connected here. Okay, we got it taped up. We'll go ahead and pull and come right up behind that tail light. There we go. Okay, so we got the larger connector that's going to go right into the tail light. Clip it in, lock it in. One more connector here. Clip it in, lock it down. Okay, we've got our connectors together. Um, we do have a, some slack here that I'm gonna pull up real tight on, keep it away from the exhaust. Just gonna zip tie it up here to the connector. Um, harnesses here. Just like that, and I'll cut off that uh, zip tie slack, or excess. Okay. Again, we got our two body plugs. We're gonna, put, we're gonna line right up into the body holes here. Make sure our wiring is tucked in. Got it all lined up, we can just tap on it. Goes right back into place. Put our two base fasteners in. And then our two centerpiece fasteners push in just like that. Okay, we're done behind the taillights. Um, we now have our four flat coming down here. Um, to activate our four flat, we will need to run uh, a wire to the battery from the power control module, which is up in our behind our taillight area. We do have a bit of wire coming out um, that we'll show to you. So again, we're gonna make a connection with a butt connector here. We'll go ahead and expose the copper, strip it out there, and just make a crimp connection. And again, I'll, we're gonna go up 
and make another crimp connection. And you can see that the black wire with the copper end lead is, um, that, that's what's coming off of our converter box and that's where we're gonna be making our butt connection there. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we've got our connection made using the butt connector. Now we'll go ahead and run the wire up to the battery. Before you go running wire up towards the engine compartment, take a few minutes and, and choose your path. Um, you wanna stay away from moving parts, heat parts like uh, the exhaust. Um, I've chosen, I chose to go down the driver's side because I can see that the brake lines are going right up next to the battery. Um, it would be a nice place to anchor my wire to once I get it ran. And Okay, now that we are up towards the firewall area in the engine compartment, I'm gonna go ahead and drop another pull wire down. That way I can take it here and then just pull it straight up. We'll, go, we'll come right up next to the battery area. Okay, we're under the hood here. We're gonna go ahead and take our pull wire, our fish wire technique, push it down next to the master cylinder here. Our uh, brake lines run right up to the master cylinder, so we're just gonna follow those lines down to the ground. Again, we're trying to avoid moving parts and exhaust. Gotta be a little patient here. There we go. Okay, we're back under the vehicle on the driver's side frame here down the brake lines. And I've pushed the pull wire down and it just came right out next to our wire that we ran down the brake line. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and just put the two ends together, tape them up, and then we'll go back up to the engine compartment and pull it straight up. Okay, back underneath the hood. We're gonna take our pull wire and just pull straight up. And here's our wire that we had underneath the vehicle that we taped up and pulled up. Now we'll just keep pulling until we get all that slack taken out. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna lay this aside because now we need to expose the battery where we're gonna be making our connection. So for those that don't know, your battery is gonna be located directly below the intake duct here. And to remove this, typically there's two little screws here, but it looks like they've kind of uh, just put some fasteners in here. Maybe they lost them or something. So we're just gonna pull straight up, pull out, and there's our battery. This is our negative side. This is our positive side. We wanna connect to the positive side of the battery. Looks like we're gonna be dealing with a 10 millimeter. Okay, that's, that's the post we're gonna go ahead and connect to. Attaching to the post, we're gonna use a fuse holder and fuse line. You can see it's one continuous wire. We're gonna go ahead and cut it here. It's our eyelet that's gonna to go to the power post, our positive post. I'm gonna go ahead and strip the wire back to connect it. Push it in until we see copper touching the metal there. Go ahead and make our crimp connection. Okay, and without a fuse in, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and make the connection. Just put it right over the post. Put the nut back on. Okay, we'll tighten it back up. Okay, so I'll gauge my distance here. I'll make our cut. Okay, and we'll lose this excess wire. Okay, now I'll go ahead and route it. There we go, that's enough to uh, get our connections made. Okay, so now here's our inline fuse. We've got the other end. We're just gonna connect the line that we ran to the inline fuse and fuse holder. Okay, we're gonna strip the wire back. 
can use a butt connector to connect the two ends. I'll be using the crimp method. Okay, all of our connections have now been made. Um, the last thing to do to activate our four flat is going to be to put the 15 amp inline fuse into the inline fuse holder. If there happens to be any shorts, it'll stop sending power back to the unit. Put our cover back on. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with some zip ties. We'll go ahead and put our intake duct back in. Just like that. Now we'll go ahead and start zip tying up the brake line to the firewall and then down underneath the vehicle. Okay, our four flat is active. A lot of people will try to zip tie or loop this around to mount their four flat. Um, that's very unattractive, so it's a good idea to spend a couple of dollars on a four flat bracket. They're really easy to mount. Um, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and mount it right in this area here. Put our four flat right through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and square it off. I'll mark my holes with a marker. Okay, and I'll go ahead and drill the two holes. You can see it takes little effort for the drill bit to go through the plastic fascia. I'll take the provided hardware here. Take one, put it through there. The other, put it in there. We've got it on backwards here. Push them through. Now we'll take our, our nuts here and just reach up behind it and bolt them down. Okay, we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and just snug them up here. Perfect. Okay, next step, we're going to take our four flat excess wiring. We're going to route it behind the bumper fascia through the bumper brackets, just like we did on the uh, right side connector. So again, we're trying to avoid the hot exhaust here. It will melt that wire. Okay, now we're coming out of the other side of the bracket that's behind here. We'll go ahead and put our four flat through the bracket, four flat bracket right through the slots, it'll lock in there. Just wiggle it back and forth, there we go. Now we can take our dust cover and close it up. Last step is going to be to clean up the excess wiring. I'm just gonna fold it up, I'm gonna zip tie it up underneath to some brackets and our harness underneath here. All right, that's our video. Thank you for watching, have fun and be safe. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.